Well, good evening, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Monday's Mental Moment with Dr. Danita. On Thursday, our baggage claim episode, Baggage Claim, Unpack Your Bags with Dr. Danita. The topic was actually a question, and you know we're in our Deal Breaker series. And so the topic was a question, once a cheater, always a cheater? If you missed that episode, I would definitely advise you to go and catch the replay. Go on and head over to my YouTube channel. And um, while you're there, catch the replay. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe and then hit that notification bell so that you can receive future reminders. So while the yay or nay decision to move forward in a relationship or a marriage after there has been infidelity. It's a personal choice. Um, We came to the conclusion on Thursday, last week's baggage claim episode, that cheating does not have to be a deal breaker. If you are in the decision-making process, I would definitely suggest first that you seek help. This is not something that you can do on your own. And then first I'll also say that um, no matter what, before I give tips, I'm going to say that no matter how bad the situation is that someone was living in or involved in, the decision to cheat is just that. It is a decision. And people need to take full responsibility for the decisions that they make. And so um, these tips that I'm going to offer, they in no way represent a full work um, that is the full work that's necessary for uh, making the decision to stay or leave. But these are some tips to get you started. So number one, get to the heart of the matter. Ask all of the necessary questions. So you'll start by asking your partner, you know, what led him or her to make the decision to uh, be unfaithful or to cheat? Was it the person? Was it you? Was it me? Was it us? Um, And I'll reiterate that even if it was you, the decision to cheat was just that. It was a decision. Um... While it is number number two, while it's necessary to ask questions about the um, infidelity, whatever that infidelity may have been, when you're asking questions about an affair, it can get really tricky. So you don't want to ask those questions that you'll regret no, regret knowing the answers to later. And um, there will be, um, honestly, I can say that there'll never be an answer that a cheater can provide that will satisfy your why. All right, number three. Ask about how the cheating ended and where are where is the cheater as it relates to their current his his or her current thoughts or his or her behaviors. And then you want to do some of that soul searching and ask yourself the harder question, and that is, am I willing to work on this to get past the hurt and to get to that healthy place? While time, you know, people say time heals all wounds. Mm, Time is never a healer of wounds. Uh, It takes the productive work over the period of time in order to get to that place where you can have the result of a healthy relationship. So what what does it take to um, do that productive work? What does it look like? Again, um, this is not an exhaustive list by any stretch of the imagination. Um, by any means, it's not an exhaustive list. But daily forgiveness, of course, is essential. You cannot move forward without choosing to forgive. Open communication and dialogue is um, was probably probably clearly an issue before um, the infidelity happened. So open, clear, clear um, dialogue is extremely important. A changed perspective 
is essential as well. And then um, make a decision to think forward and not consistently look backward and consistently rehearse and nurse and review and um, have those thoughts in your mind um, constantly thinking about what happened in the past. It will never be productive for you in order to move forward. And so these are the few tips that I have to offer you just to get you jump started. Again, this is not one of those situations that you can handle on your own. And when it all boils down to it, the decision is absolutely yours. It's your personal decision. But if you are up for the challenge, I would say that a good therapist can help. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget this Thursday, we will be back for Baggage Claim, Unpack Your Bags with Dr. Danita. And this Thursday, we will have a panel of young millennials and um, some Gen Zers as well. And they're going to talk about gold digger versus gold, gold digger versus gold digger. And so we're going to continue with our deal breakers um, episodes and we will see you then. Have a good one.